Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. Um, I hope you're all doing uh, good despite all the uh, negative headlines we are seeing all over the world. Um, it is a very hard times we're living right now so um, take care of each other guys and be strong. This will uh, surely um, go over and um, soon enough uh, we will go back to our normal lives hopefully very soon. But it seems like it's gonna get um, worse before it get better. Um, as usual we're gonna take a look at uh, all the measures uh, including uh, gold and oil. And uh, yeah for this uh, overview I want to say that uh, when we have such um, markets behavior um, not much of the technicals will always hold, especially when you have extreme fear and there is uh, not much uh, level that the market will um, respect at all, um, especially when you were uh, trading uh, stocks uh, and indices. Well, on the Forex uh, front, uh, even though we had a much better and a stronger uh, volatility, it's still not as crazy as it been in the stock market. Uh, so uh, yeah, while I roll the intro disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar and as you see it is packed with the major impact events. Um, the most important uh, event is still and will be for um, at least a couple of months maybe is the um, situation with the uh, coronavirus. Uh, we do have a, a G7 uh, emergency meeting uh, on Monday tomorrow. Uh, to discuss the situation and um, seems like uh, they will need to uh, put a lot of um, liquidity to this market if they will try to stop it in my opinion it is mostly wasted money it's much better to directly help the um, companies that need help instead of uh, throwing mon just money in the stock market and, and just at the big banks. Anyway, we do have uh, retail sales and core retail sales from the US as well on Tuesday. And all of that, I will not mention all of them, but start expecting very bad numbers, guys. That is the way it's going to be from now on that we're gonna start seeing very bad numbers. Retail sales maybe um, will go up a little bit, especially when people are hamstring and um, buying a lot of um, necessaries now um, in, in fear of lockdowns and all that. Uh, Wednesday, I'm not sure if the uh, Fed will wait until Wednesday actually to uh, make a move, but we have the FOMC meeting minutes and the uh, federal fund um, rates expectation to cut at least 50 to 75 and um, yeah um, until um, may june uh, the market is expecting the rates to be at zero also um, some uh, employment uh, numbers from the aussie on thursday um, <coughs> and the monetary policy statement from uh, the bog as well uh, friday core retail sales from the canadian uh, but as i said uh, all this not ma does not matter anymore. Uh, maybe the Fed, what they will uh, have to, to, to say, and the G7 meetings to see what all these countries are going to say about the situation. Okay, if we look at the, the chart, we start with the Dixie. It's been a very, very strong week to the upside. If we look at the weekly time frame, you know, we see that we have a we reach it all the way down to uh, tag these levels down here to then reverse uh, all that back up and trading um, above uh, this uh, key structure level and we ended up with a huge uh, bullish engulfing candle on the weekly time frame um, what will happen next week well the situation in Europe is just getting worse and worse now where Spain is on lockdown yesterday France uh, uh, also announced a, lock a lockdown. These are major economy. We're talking about Italy, Spain, uh, France. The question is when will Germany and the UK follow as well? So 
I think uh, the euro may uh, be in a bad shape uh, first. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, right now, the situation in Europe is uh, very, very bad. And uh, for that reason, there is a possibility that we keep seeing the uh, dollar um, getting stronger and stronger. So um, if we look at the four hour time frame, we see that we've been uh, in a healthy trend in the four hour time frame with higher highs and higher lows. And um, yeah, I'm expecting a continuation of that uh, V-shaped reversal we had here um, and to keep buying the dips. But as I said, it is very hard to, to look at the technicals at the moment. What's important uh, for um, this um, technical level, at least uh, now, that we uh, see the market breaking back above these levels here with a close above these highs and holding above that. So uh, in my opinion, any retest back down toward this area could be a possible reason for a continuation to the upside. So um, look for those corrections to try and buy the dips. Uh, 97.70 is also another good level to watch for a possibility of a continuation for the dollar. Uh, oil to uh, continue in being weak in my opinion. Um, Still, I don't see uh, many reasons for the oil to uh, push uh, much, much higher than we are right now. But all in all, we're still using the uh, 28 area as a possible uh, support level. And anything below that will signal even more downside. Last week, oil been uh, trading inside this range and we, we, we should keep looking at that same range for the upcoming week as well and see if it's gonna break below that or it will hold it so as for now keep trading this range until you either have a break to the downside that would signal even more uh, or if uh, we have a short term uh, break to the upside I would be careful to go long but I would say possibly back up toward 42 before a continuation but i really don't see um, the reason for that move to the upside so as for now my my recommendation uh, or what i should be do, gonna be doing is uh, trading this uh, range gold also uh, var was um, had a very bearish week last week and uh, there is lots of talk about um, big uh, funds um, uh, closing their winning trades in gold to uh, to to be able to have margin for for the losses they they taking the stock market and um, that could uh, probably be something but uh, could also be uh, part of the story not the whole story all in all very weak uh, move to the downside and um, in my opinion gold will always be a safe haven despite this uh, weakness we had here um, I still think that um, oil bay uh, sorry gold <laughs> may keep pushing to the upside but we need to see some of those evidence at the moment we're still um, uh, in a short-term bearish move as you see on the four hour time frame we uh, broke uh, the trend line we broke the 200 moving average and we broke the structure so with that in mind if uh, gold does not manage to break above 1550 again which is an important level uh, that 1550 need to be broken for more upside otherwise if it fails to break that it could be a short term level for a retest and continuation back down toward uh, another major level which is the uh, 1450 area down here so uh, again guys if uh, if gold does not manage to break above that next week uh, above that 1550 area you may see continuation to the downside but if I see that uh, we manage to break above it and hold above it I will be looking for a continuation to the upside on uh, this market. EURUSD also uh, the opposite as the Dixie. So uh, as you see, um, <coughs> Euro did reach a uh, multi-year level. Uh, if you've been trading back here 2015, you remember that during this time, this area was a key structure level that been holding very, very strongly. We are looking at the weekly time frame and last week, we had a retest of that level to then see a big rejection back down. The price is way down below the 200 moving average again on the weekly. On the daily, it just tested that 200 moving average and did close at the moving average here. So um, if uh, what I said about uh, the situation in Europe, uh, 
uh, to be right, I think we may look for some correction to then look for a continuation to the downside as is as the situation is right now do not forget that we keep getting headlines all the time so uh, things are changing but at the moment the sentiment is that europe is in a very very big trouble even though i think the us is also to um, in a big trouble but uh, the way the media is playing uh, things right now showing that uh, all those lockdowns that are happening they are actually happening in Europe yet and not in the US that's why uh, short term at least we may see continuation uh, to the downside on the euro so keep looking to sell rallies Sterling also in a very very bad shape as you see on the weekly time frame we have one of the biggest drop uh, since uh, uh, since the Brexit times back here so this weekly candle is huge as you see here and um, it broke everything all the structure level that you we have on the chart and there is not much left until we start uh, looking at these um, lows down here the, the, that we got back after this uh, brexit move to the downside we had the consolidation and another move to the downside here at around october 2016 so um, very strong bearish move and it may um, continue even lower uh, but the question is how big of a correction are we getting before these continuation as you see on the four hour time frame very shallow correction each and every time before the big moves um, started so um, a bit hard traded as i said guys we have a ex very extended move um, and uh, things are moving very fast without any correction almost so um if you want to if you're not short uh, short yet you probably want to see some kind of correction back toward this level down here i think we need to go to the four hour time frame to see it any retest toward this area could be a possible level to uh, short from okay so um be careful because uh, things are moving very very fast and um, wait for clear signals before you jump in anything um, one thing to say do not go long against such a market when fear kicks in as i said nothing will um, be able to stop that so um, not much of a structure uh, will work not, not much of a technicals will work if um, if you are fighting a, a market in fear okay so just flow with it and uh, that would be the best way to play it usd jappy on the other hand despite all those uh, drops we had um, in the stock market uh, this um, this pair did push way down toward uh, 101 uh, there is a talks about the BOG coming in here when the price reached these areas and uh, trying to push it back up because they do not like uh, to have a strong uh, Japanese yen and they seems to did a great job because um, they started a huge move to the upside to then on Friday we've got the dollar strengths that also helped this market to um, keep pushing higher anyway but I think 108.50 is a key structure level keep in mind that the stock market uh, last Friday if we look at the Dow a quick uh, look here um, we had also a huge move to the upside so from the low to the high of this candle we had a move of almost 13 uh, percent uh, and more so that also helped this um, move to the upside on usd jappy but if uh, the things will continue as they look right now and um, it seems like uh, after this uh, during this weekend um, the sentiment is back once again uh, is bad once again and there is a potentially uh, move back to the downside on uh, usd jappy so where the market is testing right now or around um, this high up here um, 
10850 uh, uh, going to be an important uh, area to watch uh, it was a trouble level previously and um, watch this level for a possible at least a short term uh, correction to the downside maybe back to uh, this trend line or back toward this uh, broken uh, neckline down here so uh, it would look something uh, like this i think some kind of correction back toward this neckline the trend line and maybe a short bounce back up but any break below the trend line would signal even more downside on uh, this market New Zealand USD I will keep hold the same bias to keep selling rallies on this market weekly time frame we see that we do have a break and close below major support level multi month multi year support level actually that got broken and the next uh, structure support is down here at these levels and uh, below that it will enter no man land since it is a pretty empty area and the drop will be very very hard if that uh, this line down here got broken so um, keep selling rallies um, we are about to fill this wick down here but any uh, correction to the upside could be a reason to sell this market back down. USD chief, same scenario as uh, USD JAPI, uh, pushed uh, strongly to the upside. Also, there is talks about SMB uh, going in and uh, pushing uh, pushing back the price from um, a very important level. If we look at the weekly time frame, we see that we we had a test of this key structure level almost to the pip of this week here we saw the correction back up um, happening from that area if we look on the daily time frame though we see that we retested this uh, structure level down here um, and <clears throat> all in all we are still in a bearish uh, market with swing lows and uh, lower lows and lower highs we are in a correction so where the market is testing right now could be a possible area for more downside especially if the sentiment to be bad once again uh, we had a good sentiment on friday late friday but if uh, as it looks like now we may keep pushing back down from this area so look for a possible selling pressure based on uh, fly to safe haven once again usd cat also a strong move to the upside last week <clears throat> the price was all the way up here so trading way above the last uh, high here uh, to then uh, push back down and close just at this high just above this high uh, which is an important level so it is um, uh, technically broken structure on the weekly daily time frame absolutely a broken structure on that time frame as the price did close all the way up here and the high was down here so uh, daily time frame it was broken but we've got a nice rejection candle on friday dis despite uh, the strengths in the dollar there was this uh, move uh, to the downside and um, yeah i think the market is pricing in that since um, um the canadian central bank did a uh, cut the market is uh, surely um, uh, uh, pricing in uh, the fed to do the same as well and uh, that's why we've got this uh, rejection back to the downside at the moment we do have uh, a strong bearish uh, divergence on the four hour time frame and uh, in my opinion if we see a break below this um, wedge or this channel there is a possibility for a continuation to the downside uh, before any bounce higher so we may be gonna see a gap fill here but keep in mind daily time frame we uh, if we will short this market we are trading against a huge bullish move here but it is it would not be the first time that we see a strong parabolic move that get a v-shape and correct back okay so this level need to be broken for more downside keep an eye on that if uh, it is not broken we may see a bounce back to the upside from this level up here and then yet another bounce to the upside but as soon as this is broken that will may uh, may open the door for some correction to the downside at least a short-term correction to the downside will happen here 
Aussie USD also same as Aussie New Zealand entering a pretty interesting uh, level here on the weekly time frame it is about to test the last line of defense which is this uh, wick down here on the weekly as you see not much left to test below that and if broken look left here you see that if this level got broken here there is not much to hold it until we uh, reach these lows down here yeah so do not forget we are looking at the weekly time frame and the situation looks pretty bad if uh, that continuation to happen as for now nothing else to do than keep selling rallies wait for some correction uh, back up to the wick maybe back up toward monthly s1 to then look for continuation to the downside for our time frame even if we uh, not getting um, a huge correction any kind of uh, flag something like this or like that could be a possible uh, selling um, um, reason so one hour time frame you see it clearly if you get something like this once again could be a good reason to sell or if you uh, get uh, this um, kind of consolidation sideways if this would start going like this keep selling the highs expecting a break to the downside okay so uh, yeah those are um, uh, the chart for this week guys um, as usual uh, thanks a lot for um, watching this and do not forget to hit the like button if you are new to the channel do not forget to subscribe see you next week bye bye